Here is a quick overview of how to use the Work to Potential Energy Gravity Lab. Once you hit the Begin button, the first thing you want to do is add at least one energy pellet to your um, energy machine. You click on the pile of energy pellets and that will send one of them into the machine. If you'd like to change from the safe to the cement, to the bricks, to the AC unit, or to the bathtub, you can do that. You can change the gravitational field strength by clicking on the thing that says today's G field. Okay, set it back to earth conditions. Then when you want to actually start the lab, you hit the power button and your machine will turn on and it will start to lift the object vertically upward at a constant speed. Students can pause it at any moment and record the energy and the height or students can allow it to run until the energy pellet naturally runs out. I would suggest taking five different height values and plotting a graph of energy versus height. Students can then uh, try the different objects. They can reset the system. They could pick a certain height, maybe two meters and see how much energy it takes to lift each of the different objects to the two meter mark. They can then look at a graph of energy and mass. They can then vary the gravitational field and they can see how the amount of energy depends on the gravitational field.